I just built this functionality into my garage and I'm going to show you how you can quickly build it yourself. Hey Google, open garage door. When it's doing it, it automatically plays the Imperial March of Star Wars. Hey Google, close garage door. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make or how to add a wireless switch to your garage automatic door. Uh, these cost about $4 on AliExpress and I'll put the link below. So the first thing we need to do is hook up the 5 volt power to it. Um, and then on this other side here, the relay switch side, I'll connect that to my garage door and we'll see if it works. Soldering iron is on. I just got this old USB cable and cut off the micro USB end. And now I'm just going to solder that to the negative and positive 5 volt terminals. So there's um, my little wireless relay switch in the box sitting on top of my garage door opener and you can see the two wires on the left there. I just put them in the same place where the switch is connected. It's called OP which I think probably means operation and just up to the right here I just put a double plug and um, plugged in a phone charger and then plugged my USB cable into that to give the wireless unit 5 volts. So now what we need to do is install the app on the phone and then pair it to the wireless device. I've set up this little test bench to show you how to pair your phone to the Sonoff relay switch. So once you've soldered everything together um, you can test it by pressing that button in the middle on the back of the Sonoff board. And see, that's switched the relay on. And then we switch it again and it goes off. And then we want to put it into pairing mode. So we hold on to that button for 5 seconds. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. And that has put it into pairing mode. We can see it blinking there. So now we open our Ewe Link app. You should have already installed that. Uh, click that little plus icon down the bottom. Go quick pairing. Add one device. And put in your password. For your wireless and now it's looking for that Sonoff device. I'll just leave that default device name but you might call it shed door or something and device connecting to Wi-Fi it might take a few minutes for it to come online so uh, sometimes that's like 10 minutes. Let's give it a go. Press the power button. So, uh, yeah. There we go. There's the fan going. And there's the fan stopped. Now I'll just show you something with my garage door since it opened. I had to change one setting. Uh, because the way the switch works is it only just switches once and then it either opens or closes. So I had to go into the settings over here. Oh, inching settings. Um, and you turn that on. So what that does is it automatically switches it off after you've activated the switch. Now, when you do that, so that allows you to control it from uh, your phone using the Wii app, and I can close the garage door now. But if you want to control it from Google Home, 
um, all you have to do is you add a new device and you link your account and uh, mine's already linked to Google Home and when you do that it finds all the devices like the Sonoff devices you've created and it adds them to Google Home now I'll show you what I did in Google Home um, yeah so in Google Home if I wanted to open the shed what I would have to say is turn on garage door which we don't really want so instead in Google Home I'll just show you There it is. Here is the garage door and you can turn it on and off just normally like Google Home or Google Assistant can do but if you go into routines I'll show you this one so there's open garage door routine and you put in your command uh, what you're going to say such as open garage door and then you give it its command such as turn on garage door I should spell it properly it still works though and you can also get it to play music whilst it's doing it so um, I've got mine to play Darth Vader's theme when it's opening the door but that's how you connect it to your Google Home or your Google Nest